We're here with ADT coach Brown after a big win for Covington at UFC 202. Quickly about the fight, I mean, it was a very, very decisive fight for Covington. What did you think of his performance? And uh, what did you think of him sort of really taking the opportunity on such a big card to get a lot more eyes on him and on his skills, what he's able to do? I mean, he's um, progressing with every fight, getting better with every fight. It's, uh, it's a learning experience. Uh, I thought he did really well. I thought uh, he does what he does best. He, he has intense pressure and he gasses everybody out. I think he's going to have more third round finishes than anybody else in the world. The guy knows how to like keep the pressure on and break you and then put you away late. That's what he's good at. Well, there's a lot of exciting things happening happening in American Top Team. New welterweight champion in Tyron Woodley, but of course, at the same time, Robbie Lawler, who was the champion before that, who's also from AT&T, lost his title. I'm just curious, when you represent both guys, is that a strange experience where you sort of have to be supportive to one guy, but also celebrate the achievement of another? Yeah, I mean, a, a little bit, I guess, for everybody, because, you know, you got one guy who's... You know, on top of the world, and another guy who who is you know pretty down and out. So it's a tough situation, but uh, it's a great problem to have when you have uh, two of the best guys in the world. People not sure what's happening next with Robin's in his career. Some people saying he's taking too much head damage, too many fights. He should retire. Other believe that he can have another run and become the champion once again. You're around him quite a lot, obviously. How do you foresee his future? Well, do you believe he can have another run at the title and become champion? Absolutely. Before? I think he. Uh, He's, he's sharp as hell and always and he's getting better still to this day and uh, I think he's motivated more than ever and he'll he'll get another shot. He, so. You've spoken to him and he's in a place right now where he's ready to get back in the octagon or do you think he's in a position at the moment where he's still sort of dealing with the loss and trying to come to terms with it? Well, I mean uh, like a week after the event he was already back in the gym like trying to uh, help out some of our other guys like Dustin Poirier's got a big fight coming up so he was in there you know helping him out um, you know wasn't sparring hard but he's in there uh, putting his uh, expertise you know in there and so his input helping the guys improve you know he's a solid team player you know. Let's just quickly talk about Tyron Woodley, the new champion. People not sure who he should fight next. You guys would definitely have some kind of input when you discuss future opponents. Out of all the guys that he's discussed, he's discussed Nick Diaz. He's also discussed, obviously, GSP. But we're not quite sure how that's going to work out. And there's also Stephen Thompson in the wings. Who do you think would be the best next opponent for him? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. He's got some people that are helping him with, with that type of thing. But uh, from I think... I mean, GSP is probably the biggest fight, but Wonder Boy is probably the most deserving right now. So one of those, one of those guys. Some people criticizing him, saying he's trying to run away from the Stephen Thompson fight. I mean, you're around him all the time. Is he? You, you could give us the comment right now. Is he scared of matching up with Thompson, or is it just a monetary he's type a, situation? I and mean, he's a world class fighter and best in the world. He just fought Robbie, you know. I think he's afraid to fight anybody at this at this level, you know. But everybody, you know, you got to play the game a little bit. You you want the biggest fights, you know. It's like a lot of people want the McGregor fight just because it's the most eyes, it's the most numbers, it's you know, it's the biggest for biggest fight you can be in. So I mean, that's where he's coming from, and it makes sense. People are saying that Thompson would beat Woodley. I mean, how do you see this matchup playing out if they do match up? And it's likely that that is the next fight. How would you see a fight between those two going? It could go many ways, but uh, the only way you're going to find out is putting him in there and, and, and letting him go. But, I mean, Wonder Boy's done some amazing things. Uh, it's fun to watch. I think he brings a lot of eyes, uh, you know, eyes to the TV, and it's one that I'll be excited to see. I know you haven't had the t chance to really study probably Wonder Boy all that much, but as far as any advantages that Woodley has, are there anything that you can think of right off the bat, any things that would really give uh, Tom Stephen Thompson trouble? Well, um, wrestling and, and explosiveness. I mean, I don't think anybody's more explosive than Woodley. And, uh, of course, as a Division One All-American, so those are two strengths that he has on most people. Well, there you guys go. They're going to celebrate another the victory. American top team, Mike Brown, thank you so much oh, for right your on. time. Yeah. And best of luck in the future. Oh, thanks, thanks.